What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team stand up! Hey, man, we have literally the tallest. So, let me first of all tell you how I uh, actually uh, found this video. Now, I was looking up because I got bored one day and I was like, okay, bro, who is the tallest NBA player to ever play? Like, just tallest basketball player in general. Doesn't even have to be NBA, but it's tallest basketball player. And I actually found this dude. His name is Sun My GME. So, um, I found this video, you know? This actually wasn't a request or anything. Um, I thought it would be a dope video for you guys because I wanted to see it too. And, you know, I'm not about to watch it by myself. You got to watch it with FTC. So, let's check it out. Thon commented on a previous video and suggested that I do a video about Sun Ming Ming. It got a lot of likes, so I thought this I'd go is, for um, it. The story of the giant no basketball player. Ming Ming is. We're just called he the tallest. He was born on August 23rd, 1983, and he's known for being one of the tallest professional basketball players in history. Standing at seven foot. Damn, bro, bro! If you're bro, imagine pulling somebody's jersey during a basketball game, bro. Bro, I'm literally turning around and we're strapped, bro. There's no reason for you to do this right here, bro. That's like female shit, bro. Why are you pulling my clothes, bro? What the fuck? Who is this man's right here, bro? Whose man's is this? Let's continue. He's taller than the NBA fuck? giants like Sean Bradley, Yao Ming, Manute Bull, and Mirasan. Wow. On top of oh, that, that bull dude played for the Warriors? Also made some cameos in movies and TV shows. His first appearance in film was in Rush Hour 3, where he played really? a student in a martial arts school. The Rush Hour movies. Damn, he's tall. I was watching them growing up, so I definitely recommend watching them if you haven't yet. All I never the movies even watched really it. Funny. Anyway, back to the story of Sun. He was born near Bayan County in Harbin, China, one of the most populated and advanced metropolitan cities in Northeast China. Although he grew up in a lower class rural area near the city, the city of Harbin itself is best known for its ice sculpture festivals. Bro, that looks the fun as and shit, bro. The I want to do that. In the country. That looks fun. So Sun grew up near this area with very little money, and he did not have access to quality health care. This will be important uh, later on in the story. Originally, he was never interested in basketball. Bro, look However, how tall he is. However, at 15 years old, he was nearly 7 feet tall. 15? Honestly, you were 7 feet? And you were not interested in basketball, bro. No. If I have a son and you're taller than 6'6", six, six, you're playing basketball. That's your number one thing. You're doing it. And if the only way you're not playing basketball is if you get injured. And other than that, you'll just, you know, be your own boss and all that shit. But, bro, you're playing basketball. It's best 7 feet 15. I wish I was 7 feet and 15. Bro, I'm instantly averaging 80, 90 points in high school, bro. I would have had the most scholarship offers in the fucking nation, bro. Oh my god, bro, I would have had scholarship offers in a different galaxy in a planet. That's how great I would have been. That age, you might as well try and play basketball and give it a chance. Bro, he's just doing effortless According behind the back. According to an article pass. by Pablo Torre of Sports Illustrated, 17% of Americans who are at least 7 feet tall make it to the NBA. I'm not sure how accurate this stat is, and obviously Sun is not American, but he started to really love playing basketball and had dreams of making it to the NBA. By the time Sun was in his 20s, he was still growing, which was insane. At 22 years old, he reached his adult height of 7 foot 9 inches tall. He but this type of growth spurt seemed really unnatural, and his height was reaching a dangerous level. In 2005, Sun went to a doctor and found out that he had a tumor attached to his pituitary gland in the middle of his brain. No! This tumor caused the gland to release high levels of growth hormone during his development. He had a condition called acromegaly. The high amounts of growth hormone made him very tall, but it also caused his body to produce much lower amounts of testosterone. And because of his low levels of testosterone, Sun had trouble developing the speed, stamina, and strength that he needed to play professional wow. basketball. If this tumor remained in his brain, it would not only ruin his chances to play in the NBA, but also have detrimental effects on his body and health for the rest of his life. Wow. Normally, cases like these should be given immediate attention and care. But as I mentioned earlier, Sun did not grow up in an environment with good health care. So wow. it took this long for him to discover the tumor. At first, Sun did not have the money to pay for surgery to remove the tumor, which cost about $100,000 total. Fortunately though, his agent started a fundraiser to raise that money so Sun can get surgery. 
The fundraiser was an incredible success, and Sun was finally ready to get the tumor removed from his brain so he can fulfill his NBA dreams. Nice. He traveled to Skull Base Institute in Los Angeles, California to meet with Dr. Shahinian, an innovator who created a new revolutionary brain surgery procedure. The doctor called it endoscopic endonasal surgery. The entire operation will be done through Sun's nose using an endoscope and a camera. Using what? Using openings to minimize the damage done to other parts of his head. Eventually, after two separate procedures, the tumor was finally removed from Sun's brain. Oh my after gosh. a few months of recovering, he was oh finally ready to get back on his feet and start his journey into professional basketball. Unfortunately, the NBA was a goal that would be very hard for a player like him to reach. Why? By 2006, at the age of 23, Sun never had any experience playing organized basketball in any professional It doesn't league. matter, he's tall! He attended Ventura College, a Let small him play. community college in California for one year, and then went straight to the minor leagues afterwards. He joined a team called the Dodge City Legend a minor league team in the United States Basketball League, which now no longer exists. For the next few years, Sun bounced around a bunch of other minor leagues, playing for teams like the Maryland Nighthawks and the Grand Rapids Flight. He even had brief stints in Mexico and Japan. In Japan, he averaged just 7.7 .7 points per game and 5.7 rebounds per game. And at this point in his basketball career, it was very unlikely that he'd ever make it to the NBA. Wow. Honestly, if he wasn't insanely tall, I don't think anybody would even be talking about him in the first place. After Sun realized that he most likely won't make it to the NBA, he decided to return to China to play basketball in 2009. He joined the Beijing Ducks, and although he didn't have a significant role on the team, he won the CBA championship in 2012 and 2014. Yeah. Sun was actually on the same team as Stefan Marbury for oh, those really? titles. However, 2014 would be the last year Sun played professional basketball, and he's pretty much retired now. It's no surprise though, since dragging around a 7 foot 9 inch 360 pound body is gonna take its toll eventually. And here's a fun fact for you guys. Sun got married in 2013 and his wife was 6 foot 3 inches tall. Him and his wife are in the Guinness Book of World Records as the tallest living married couple. Really? With a combined height of nearly 14 feet. That's pretty cool. That's what's up. She's pretty. She's got a nice lady. Say, but Sun never realized his dream of making it to the NBA. But at least he's been what's living a much buddy on the left of him, yeah? since his surgery. Right Normally, I'd what end this video his ear like that for? now since that's pretty much his entire story. But I want to show you guys some photos to put his size into perspective. Here's Sun standing next to The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Damn. Here's him standing next to Mike Tyson. Here's him next to Yao Ming. Damn. The angle is kind of weird, but he's clearly a few inches taller. And here he is holding a basketball. He makes it look like the size of an apple. That's insane. <laughs> it's crazy. Look at how far he gets off the ground to dunk the ball. He can almost dunk without even jumping. Man. And finally, here he is setting a pick during a regular basketball game. Yeah, I don't need to explain this one. And that's all, folks. Hope hey, you man, that's going to cap it off, man. It's kind of sad that he wasn't able to, you know, get his dream and go to the NBA, man. I feel like NBA teams just was sleeping. I feel like the NBA team should have gave him a chance to let him develop. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, man, but it's sad that, it, you know, to hear that tumor and everything and, you know, everything. Hope That's good that they got it taken out and, he's, you know, hopefully he's living good and everything. Hey, man, as usual, man, coming down below, that's your next, man, on the road. That's you, Millie Millie.